Senegal is a country in West Africa. The country has an estimated population of about 13 million. For a better understanding of the origin of this country and its population, we need to return back to the Paleolithic period. According to Dr. Abdullahi Kamara, the first group of people who occupied the area arrived 350,000 years ago. The Senegalese prehistorian revealed that during the Paleolithic period, there was human presence in Senegal. His statements were approved by researches made by the Fundamental Institute of Black Africa during the colonial period. The Gore Island has played a key role in the history of Senegal. It is a big tourist attraction because of its history as a fundamental slave trading center. Gore is famous as a destination for people interested in the Atlantic slave trade. Between 1519 and 1867, European slave traders came in Africa in search of slaves. They came with slave ships specially built for the purpose of transporting slaves. They purchased African men, women and children. Those slaves were then transported to the Americas. Before they left Africa, the slaves were stocked in Gore Island. They were united together in the building named the House of Slaves. The House of Slaves contained very tiny rooms where they were experiencing very tough moments. John Paul II and Nelson Mandela. When Mandela came here, just a year after he himself had been freed from prison, he insisted on coming into here, one of the small cells that was used to punish slaves accused of misbehaving. He spent some time in here alone. When he emerged, he had tears in his eyes. After the abolition of slavery, the house of slaves has been converted into a museum. Because of its rich history, Gore has been visited by famous people such as President Bill Clinton, Nelson Mandela, George Bush, and recently Barack Obama and the First Lady Michelle Obama. This is why American presidents have come here to mark the darkest chapter of American history. America's struggle to overcome slavery and its legacy forms one of the most difficult chapters of that history. My nation's journey toward justice has not been easy, and it is not over. Senegal was built in the late 18th century. For Obama, it was a moving moment. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's always uh, powerful uh, for me to visit uh, countries outside of the United States generally, uh, but obviously for an African American and African American president, uh, you know, to be able to uh, visit this site, uh, I think, gives me uh, 
even greater motivation in terms of the defense of human rights around the world. Historians differ about what exactly happened right here at what has become known as the door of no return, but it's come to symbolize the last step that millions of Africans made as they left the shores of this continent onto slavery in strange lands beyond the ocean. The experience of Senegal during the Second World War was a real drama. The French authorities came in Africa in search of soldiers to reinforce their army during the war. They gathered 140,000 men from different countries in West Africa. Those men were quickly trained and sent to Europe to fight on behalf of France. They were named the Tirailleur Senegalais. The Tirailleur Senegalais units of the French army took part in the war between 1939 and 1944. After the war, they were deported back to Senegal. They were disappointed when they learned that the French authorities refused to pay the war indemnities. They were not satisfied about that situation and they decided to demonstrate in protest against the failure of the French authorities to pay the indemnities. And the following day, as a response to the demonstration, the French soldiers opened fire on them and killed 70 Tirailleur Senegalais soldiers. In 1884, France obtained the biggest part of West Africa during the Berlin Conference to divide and share Africa. Senegal was then colonized by France. The French colonizers had to face the resistance of some Senegalese kingdoms. When the country gained its independence in 1960, Leopold Sedar Senghor was proclaimed Senegal's first president. Senghor was a poet, a philosopher, and personally, he drafted the Senegalese national anthem. Pro-African, he advocated a brand of African socialism la vision prosaïque est une vision utilitaire qui ne va pas au fond des choses. In 1980, President Senghor decided to retire from politics. The next year, he transferred the power to Abdou Diouf. Ce que nous espérons et voulons ensemble, une nouvelle réalité prend immanquablement forme. Abdou Diouf was president between 1981 and 2000. In the presidential election of 2000, Abdoulaye Wad defeated Abdou Diouf. Senegal experienced its second peaceful transition of power and its first from one political party to another. Par mon experience et par mes relations, à l'extérieur pour pouvoir résoudre un certain nombre de problèmes. The current president Macky Sall was elected in 2012. Le continent comme vous le savez est un vaste territoire composé de d'états en construction avec des fortunes diverses selon les Currently 
Senegal has a quasi-democratic political culture, trying to be one of the more successful post-colonial democratic transitions in Africa. Senegal has a wide variety of ethnic groups, and uh, as in most West African countries, several languages are widely spoken. The Wolof are the largest single ethnic group in Senegal at 43%. As former colony of France, French is the official language and the Wolof is the most spoken language in the country. Islam is the predominant religion. It's practiced by approximately 94% percent of the country's population. The Christian community at 5 percent of the population. In Senegal, Muslims and Christians live in a perfect and peaceful harmony. Hospitality, in theory, is given such importance in Senegalese culture. That's the reason why the country is named the country of Teranga, the wall of word Teranga, means hospitality. Senegalese wrestling is a type of folk wrestling traditionally performed by the Serer people and now a national sport in Senegal. The main objective is to throw the opponent to the ground. The professional fighters are paid a lot of money. Sometimes they are paid up to $250,000. Senegalese wrestlers train extremely hard. In Senegal, there are currently 300,000 fighters. Most of them are young people who left their home villages. Their dream is to become one day a professional fighter. Before the match, the fighters execute black magic rituals and perform traditional dance. Thank you.